am Crystal Alexander and welcome to my page. Tonight we are making a lazy day Mexican cauliflower skillet. Um, we're going to modify this recipe ever so slightly, uh, but I'll walk you through all of that. So um, we are going to be able to see the entire recipe through. The only part you might not see is like the cheese melting so that we're not on here forever. Um, but if you do hop on live, please say hello. Let me know that you're here. And if you catch the replay, please drop the word replay. And if you're looking for easy, like Taco Tuesday type recipes, I want you to drop the word easy. Um, we're gonna get started. So I already have about a tablespoon or so of olive oil in the pan. Um, and we're gonna add I did an onion, a red pepper, and a green pepper, and we're gonna saute those up. You did not get this out. For just a couple of minutes, until they are soft. And then we're gonna add the meat, and we're gonna brown that with these, which is different, uh, but that's what we're gonna do. Uh, and then we're going to add cauliflower rice. It's going to be delicious. I've actually never made this recipe, but sometimes you can see a recipe and you know right away it's going to be awesome. So I can already tell it's going to be great. Hey guys. Hi Monica. Hi Jamie. Hi Misty. Thank you for hopping on. Hello, hello over on TikTok. I'm going to get better at talking to you guys too. Let that saute for a minute. That. While that is, we just want to maybe like a couple minutes just until they start to become soft. Um, and while we're doing that, I would love to know uh, who on here is like keto, low carb. Um, if you're just looking for healthy, easy recipes, like tell me in the comments um, what you are doing. We um, just try to do more of intuitive eating. So we're not necessarily low carb. We're not necessarily keto. We just eat the best that we can. Sometimes that means there are low carb recipes. Sometimes that means there's keto recipes. Sometimes they're not. Lots of good stuff coming this week in all those categories too. Okay. And what we're gonna do here next is we're gonna add, I did ground turkey. Um, someone had asked me to do like a ground beef recipe and that's originally what this was. I try to do red meat just ever so often. Uh, so we did turkey, but you can use any kind of like protein you want. So if you wanna do ground beef, you totally can. Um, we're doing turkey because to me it ends up tasting the same at the end of the day. So, okay. Let's bring this down a notch and we're going to add this and brown that. It's so funny, yesterday I said I don't usually do a lot of stovetop recipes and then here I am doing two in one week. <laughs> and you see why it's just kind of loud. Brown this. Once this is brown, we're going to add in taco seasoning <laughs> um, and some water. a second and just so you know it is going to take me a little bit i don't have this recipe written up just yet so as soon as we're done with this video um, i'm going to write it up i'll get it in the group and then i'll post the link above so if you're not in the group drop the word group i'll get you added if you are just wait a few minutes when this is finished and the link will be up there to take you direct to this recipe written out completely Hey 
Hey Rachel, what's up? How are you? I don't know. Facebook, yeah, it can be funny sometimes. Yeah, the group has like low carb, keto, um, it even has like vegan meal plan. So if you're looking for something specific, it is probably in there. Shopping lists, all sorts of things. Let me turn this up a little bit. I turn it down because it gets so loud. Um, but it's going to make this go forever. Let's give that a second. Let that go. So yes, as soon as I'm done, I'll finish writing it up and I'll get that posted above. Um, hey, Lindsay. Hey, Laura. Thank you so much for hopping on. Um, yes, I post all of my recipes in my group. Um, yes. Oh, I didn't open this. Let's, while that's going, let's open this can because I forgot. When do I? Okay. So we're going to add diced tomatoes and green chilies. And I forgot to open this can. So these videos might take a little bit longer, but a few people have asked to, as much as possible to see the final product. So when I can, I'll do a longer video to make sure that you can. Um, to see the final product. If you're on live, maybe tell me where you're from. Where you're from. We've been a ton of new followers on here, which is super exciting. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now we're gonna add the ground beef, oh, I'm sorry, we're gonna add the taco seasoning and the water. Um, and then we're gonna stir in frozen cauliflower rice and the tomatoes. Okay, so half a cup of water. And I just make up my own taco seasoning. Um, I actually have all the ingredients for what I do in my group as well. So um, if you're looking for that, so I'm just going to finish that off. And then we're adding this bag ripped, um, the frozen rice cauliflower. Let's hope this pan is big enough. I think we'll be all right. Start with that. Get everything mixed up, and then we can add a little more. Okay, so let's add this tomatoes. Um, I am a huge fan of one pot dishes. Keep things very, very simple. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Kimberly. Thank you guys so much for hopping on. Okay. Because we're going to get this all mixed up and then we're going to simmer for like 10 minutes. So we're not going to see that part, but you'll be able to see the majority of this completed. So I can fit the rest of this cauliflower. So we're going to simmer on like medium low heat for about 10 minutes. Um, and then we're going to top with shredded cheese and cover it to let that melt. And then we're going to serve with salsa, sour cream, jalapenos, all the toppings. Probably, sh I don't even think I have a bigger pan, but I think this is getting it done. I think it's time for a bigger pan. Okay, that looks pretty mixed up. Turn this down a little bit now. Okay. There. I'm going to cover 
and let that simmer, like I said, for about 10 minutes, give or take. Um, here, let me show you guys, because the only thing now that's missing is the cheese. As you can see there, here we go. So that is, oh, cilantro, that's a great idea too. So we're gonna simmer that for 10 minutes. Let me check the clock. Uh, and then when that is done, we're gonna top with cheese, cover. As soon as the cheese is melted, we're going to serve this, it's ready to go. So serve with like whatever toppings that you normally want. We have um, guacamole, salsa, jalapenos, sour cream, um, whatever toppings that you like. Someone said cilantro. Um, someone just said they're in Florida and it's 48 degrees. It's like eight degrees here. <laughs> it is like eight degrees here. No, thank you. Hello. Hi, Darby. Hi, Michelle. So that's pretty much it. So you almost got the final product. Um, it just has to simmer for a little while. Um, what else did I want to say? I will have, like I said, I'll have this written up. I'll have the link posted above. It goes to my group, you guys. If you're not in my group, drop the word group. I'll get you added. Um, and then that's where all these recipes are. What else? So many comments. It's fun. Whoa, someone said it's negative 14. No, thanks. Yep, negative 14. Someone said I would be very happy with 48 or 58. So... Yes, drop the word group, I'll get you added. Uh, if you want to be notified when I am going live, simply tap this video right up here in the corner. There's three dots, click those, click follow, um, or simply send me a friend request and you should always be notified when I go live. Um, and if this recipe sounds delicious to you and you know you're gonna love it, please share this video out and drop the word share so that I can thank you. It helps me a ton and I appreciate it. Um, Otherwise, I hope you're having a great Tuesday, Taco Tuesday, and I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.